Just over two years after Meng Wanzhou was arrested in Vancouver in 2018, it appears there could be a path for her to avoid extradition to the United States. The Wall Street Journal and Reuters are reporting that her legal team is in talks with the U.S. Department of Justice about a potential deal that would allow her to return to China in exchange for admitting wrongdoing. According to the Wall Street Journal report, she's been resisting the arrangement. Meng's lawyers aren't commenting, nor is Canada's justice minister. Look, I'm aware of the story that's now in the national, uh, that's now in the national press, uh, but obviously I can't comment on that kind of speculation given my potential role in, in, at the end of an extradition hearing. Meng faces extradition to the U.S. where she's accused of fraud, lying to a bank which puts it at risk of violating U.S. sanctions. Just days after she was arrested in Vancouver, Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig were detained in China and eventually charged with spying. If Meng's extradition case ends, it could mean a light at the end of the tunnel for the two Michaels. If it's confirmed, this would be uh, great news because I think that... Uh, Everyone in Ottawa was waiting for a miracle that would come from uh, Washington. So let's hope that the uh, discussions are uh, serious and that uh, a solution can be found, because otherwise uh, I, I think uh, we would be uh, in a mess for a long time. Her extradition case is slowly winding through the courts. The earliest there could be a decision is next year. As her fate hangs in the balance, Canada and China's relationship worsens. Experts say these types of deals, known as deferred prosecutions, are normally reserved for corporations. But there's nothing typical about Meng's case. It's very unusual for the CFO of a huge corporation like Huawei to to uh, be arrested personally for the allegations that have been put forward. So I think they've come to their senses and um, realized that there's a political precedent for this. Uh, it's actually built right into the treaty that you do not prosecute for political purposes. Whether the changing political landscape in the U.S. will make a difference to Meng's case is unclear. One thing sure. If this deal were approved and her extradition case was dropped, it would be a welcome relief to many in Ottawa. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.